Yeah, Connor. So, oh, what is this? Find Amanda. Is that is that you? I'm not allowed to walk on grass. Across the bridge. Hi. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's an alright man. Uh, intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Oh, this is gonna end in a in a giant. Hurry, Connor. Like There's a giant no time. path crossing between Marcus and Connor, isn't it? For Lieutenant Anderson. Reception. We start here first. It's okay. It's okay, just relax. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Connect. Beep boop. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Thank you. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to do here. I guess those are just all numbers, like all names, I guess. Let me talk to you first. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. I guess they're, they're uh, I guess they're, they're, they're like robots. They don't, they're not, they don't have to be like polite to each other. Interesting. I'm not allowed. Police officer person. 
Wait, her name's Person? I guess she's a person. Oh shit, this is Reed. I'm gonna read. Famous paint Detroit painter dies. Carl Manfred, one of Detroit's brightest lights. Oh shit. Reports of famous artist Carl Manfred's death has been confirmed. The coroner described a fatal cardiac event uh, induced by stressful domestic situations. Manfred's son Leo has asked the media to respect the family's privacy at this difficult time. Carl Manfred rose to fame in the 2020s as a figure of neo symbolism with powerful and dark works in the mold of Francis Bacon. Response. Uh, okay. Proliferating years follow, pro proliferate years follow until a dark period marked by alcohol and drugs. But the artist has, uh, artist had apparently returned to work in recent months. Governor of Detroit expressed her condolences on behalf of the city, describing Manfred as one of Detroit's brightest lights. A collection of Manfred's paintings will be auctioned by his estate in the coming weeks. Ivanov says, "Niet." Look at that real picture. Wait, what? I'm not allowed to read this? Yep. Russian uh, president responds to Warren's warning. Following the president Warren's demands that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic immediately, uh, President Ivanov of Russia had issued a response. Ivanov branded Warren's comments as megaphone diplomacy and said, uh, U.S. saber-rattling is the number one threat to, st to stability in the region. The Kremlin produced a detailed statement outlining Russia's claim to the territory, and Ivanov said he would remind President Warren that the United States is the subject to UN conventions, like everybody else. So these are just all desk. All right, that's where Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. <laughs> Explore new office. Hi, honey. Okay. Learn about Lieutenant Anderson. He likes loud music. Knights of the Black Death. I will call later. Holy shit. Anti Android slogans. Okay. Cold coffee. Man drinks coffee. Japanese maple. Asian. Shishigashira Shaoin. Sure. Likes donuts. Oh shit. Okay. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Oh, okay. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt with a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With numbers of high profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars, and narcotics seized its street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, 
It is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. This was 2028, so 10 years ago. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant, becoming the youngest lieutenant of the, the Detroit Police Force. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member uh, of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly to the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as the future commissioner. Nearly a ton of red ice was discovered in the hold of the boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson and Detroit Police. Detroit Basketball Cap Dog He's got a dog Jimmy's Bars Oh, there it is. There's the last one. Oh. A good cop. Real police. Nice. Uh, asshole. Ken Anderson was a decorated officer. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. I'll listen to the briefing. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now... We're getting reports of assaults, and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job, or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Are you going to excuse him? Anderson. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> uh, Connor, I like you. Go see the Deviant and check on Hank. I'll go see the Deviant first. Archive room. There he is. Compassionate. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. 
But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. Statue. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. Damn. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! What the hell? I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. What the hell? What the hell? There's writing on the wall. That's a lot of writing on the wall. Hank, we need to see this. Uh, understanding. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Thank you. Thank you. Am I going to do some Norman Jaden bullshit? Dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Why? Uh, basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Ah. Oh. <laughs> music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. <laughs> uh, Anti-androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. Was yet. I was wondering, report says they cut it with something. is there any reason in particular you despise me? Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. Yeah. There is one. Yeah, the <laughs> okay. Fowler. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Hours. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? 
I'll start working. If you have then. any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Victim Gordon Lopez, case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson. The plaintiff reports to, that the that he left his android at home as usual when he went for for work. When he returned, his android is no place to be found. No trace of a break in, the android might have left home without being ordered to. Okay. Oh, it's like a sales android from the uh, from the other one. Next to being attacked by an AV500 number 23477821 model. Android working at as a waiter at the fast Cooney Dot. Restaurant chain uh, situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. Claims that the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. Android remains at large. Attack, attack, disappearance. Uh, attacked by her android to AP 700-4809-13802 model. The android also thrashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Missing. So that's, this is a person though. Manager of the Eden Club reported that... Oh no, that's a sex android. <laughs> the android disappeared after accompanying a customer home and never returned. Attempted murder. Famous painter Carl Manfred. Unknown series? Oh, there's Kara. The victim's body was found by a friend who came to say hello. He was immediately called the emergency service, record the death of gunshot wound. Scanning. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Professional un uh, understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and... Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Okay. I should, maybe I should have taken a professional route. Determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. Yet? It's been sighted in the Ravens they cut it something. I'm on it. Right. Oh, we're gonna cross past the Kara soon. What is it? Carlos's android self destructed. If I explored the station, I could have found something. Read famous painted. I read the other one as well. Oh, maybe it's just something else I didn't do. Okay. <laughs> 